what I would do is look at the budget from three lenses. Yeah, one is the structural, the second is the social investments, and the third is uh, what is in it for the year. And uh, then I'll sum it up. When we look at it from a structural perspective, there are a few things which stand out. One is the development financial institution, which is absolutely the right thing. This is what we have been craving for a pretty long time because the banks, I do not think they have the innate risk-taking capability and structural capability to do long-term development uh, investments. The second one is the asset reconstruction. Again, this is something which uh, Fiki also has been clamoring for. It is a step in the right direction. The third is the disinvestment and the monetization of government's assets. I think a fabulous way of uh, generating resources. And the fourth one, which we were worried about, but the government has done a good job, they have articulated the revised glide path of fiscal deficit. It is not that from nine plus person, they are going to suddenly bring it down to 4%. It is going to be a glide path and around 24, 25 or 25, 26 is when they will touch the 4% level. So absolutely the right thing. When I look at it from a social investment, India has a fabulous opportunity to become the affordable healthcare capital of the world. So increased investment in healthcare, absolutely the right thing. The Jal Jeevan mission, the social security for the gigs and the platform workers, and very importantly, increasing the depth of Ujjwala. These are all the right things. Then what we as corporate sector were very worried about, the fear that the taxes may go up. And keeping the personal taxes and the corporate taxes rate unchanged is again the right thing because this gives a very clear indicator to the investors that there is going to be policy certainty in the country. The other important bit is uh, uh, very clearly that uh, they are talking about rationalization of customs duty, but that is something which we have to look at going forward as to what does it entail. But this is also an opportunity for the government to correct many of the mistakes that exist within the structure. And there is, from a FMCG lens, there is some cess on crude palm oil, but I don't think the impact is going to be very major. So if I have to conclude in FMCG, things improve, the consumption improves when you put more money in the hands of more people. That's the mantra. And I think the multiplier impact, which is going to come from the capital expenditure, which has gone up by nearly 35%, and all the steps that I've talked about, I think that is what is going to lead to more money in the hands of more people. So if I look at from the lens of three hours, the recovery of the economy, I think the steps are absolutely right. Reforms, I think again, it's a step in the right direction. The third one was relief for the urban poor or the unemployed. I think that is where the budget does not have any direct intervention. Indirectly it does. Because if you spend more money on capital expenditure, it will have a multiplier effect. But perhaps this sector required a special effort, which I have not been able to spot in the budget. But overall, I think kudos to Madam Finance Minister for a job well done.